I'm Matt from the BuyBot Pro team and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your BuyBot Pro. So first and foremost, BuyBot Pro is a Chrome extension, so you will need to ensure that you have got Google Chrome downloaded. And then all you need to do is come on through to the Chrome Web Store, find BuyBot Pro, give that a click and then tap Add to Chrome. It may ask you for some permissions along the way. If it does, please allow them so that way BuyBot Pro can work. So now that it has been added to our extensions list, what we need to do is make sure that we have pinned it to the top of Chrome, just like so. And if we tap the three dots and tap Manage Extension, if you ever need to update BuyBot Pro, please make sure you have Developer Mode toggled on in the top corner, and then just make sure that you are checking that you're on the most recent version, and you can also update from within here as well. So now that we have BuyBot Pro downloaded, what we can now do is head on over to any Amazon product page, and it does need to be an Amazon product page in order to get the extension up. I will be showing you some other instances where you can use BuyBot Pro in just a few minutes. So let me just refresh this page. Now that we have BuyBot Pro downloaded, it will appear to the side of the product page. And you can customize where this does sit on the page, by the way. However, when it first initially turns up, it will look a little something like this. So all you need to do is enter in your BuyBot Pro associated email, so the one you signed up with, and your full license key or password, okay? So you, when you signed up to BuyBot Pro, you should have had a welcome email with your license key and so forth. If for whatever reason you don't have that email, please check your junk and spam folder first. If it happens not be there, please reach out to info at buybotpro.com so that way the support team can give you your license key. Once you've logged in, Buybot Pro will look a little something like this. So as I say, you can actually customize where the panel sits on the page. Uh, this is one of the default options. This is another default option where it has a separate scroll to the rest of the page. Um, you can stick it to the right side of your screen to the left and that also has a separate scroll. It's completely up to you where you like it. I personally like it over here. Um, and then before you do anything else, I'd advise that you have a little look at your BuyBot Pro settings by tapping the settings cog right here. I would advise at least making sure you have got everything in the basic section of the settings filled in as these aspects will affect things like the calculations and so forth because it's all important stuff that BuyBot Pro will take into account when working out things like your profit, ROI and costs and so forth. So preferred marketplace, obviously that is going to be your main marketplace. So uh, if you are a US based seller, it will most likely be US. If you're a UK based seller, it will most likely be UK. So you just choose from the list right here. And the list right here as well, by the way, is also where BuyBot Pro works. So BuyBot Pro will pop up on Amazon UK, US, Germany, Spain, France, Italy, and Canada. So that's where BuyBot Pro works. You then need to enter in your VAT slash tax settings. So if you are in the UK, you will choose from non-VAT registered, standard accounting, or the flat rate scheme. So if you are VAT registered, it'll be one of these two options right here. If you aren't sure if you're on the flat rate scheme, let me put it this way, you will 100% know if you are on the flat rate scheme. So then you can select that. Otherwise, it'll be the standard accounting one. And I think for the most part, that's what most sellers end up going with. Um, and of course, if you are non-VAT registered, please choose this option right here. If you are a US or Canadian seller, we have an option just for you right here. So this will basically be um, VAT exclusive, but what you can do is enter in a, sa a sales tax rate percentage that BuyBot Pro can take into account. So you'll enter in whatever that default rate is for you, and then t flick this toggle on right here, and you can choose for that to be um, factored into BuyBot Pro's calculations. Once you have completed this, please check the ROI method. So ROI, return on investment. Uh, if you aren't quite familiar with what that is, it's basically a percentage that's given with every analysis. Um, and you can use that percentage to help you judge how well the item is going to perform for you. Um, so obviously, the higher the ROI, the better. So you can choose how BuyBot Pro deals with ROI. Now, if we hover over the ROI calculations, we'll have a breakdown of all of the different sums that BuyBot Pro can do. Uh, you might recognize method one as that's the most standard way to work out ROI, but if you are looking for something um, that little bit more with your ROI sums, obviously please feel free to check out the rest of the sums and choose which one um, 
fits best with your ROI vision. If you're looking for some recommendations, we tend to recommend method four for UK sellers um, and potentially also EU as well. Method five for US, as you can see there, they take a lot more into account, um, including things like Amazon fees, VAT were applicable, obviously on method five, it's all VAT exclusive. So it's completely up to you what ROI method you choose, but please feel free to take that advice if you aren't quite sure. You then have the space to enter in uh, any prep fees, bundle fees, and shipping costs per kilo or per pound. If you aren't sure what this is, you can attempt to work this out from any potential shipping invoices you've been given, or it might be worth contacting your courier to see if they can advise you further um, on that matter. You've got some preferences in here as well, such as if you are predominantly analyzing from an FBA perspective or Merchant Fulfilled. If you predominantly do Merchant Fulfilled, it might also be worth looking at the MF shipping costs right here. These are consistent Merchant Fulfilled shipping costs that you may have in your business. So you can enter up to three different options and these will automatically appear when you flick the toggle in the calculator through to Merchant Fulfilled. And obviously it will remove the FBA fees because obviously analyzing from an FBM perspective and you'll have these shipping costs appear and also an option to enter in your own. You've got further preferences in the advanced field as well and room to enter in any extra fees that are applicable to you and your business. You can express them as a normal value or as a percentage. If we move a little bit further down, we have some personalization um, options right here. So we can choose how we want all the all of the charts to appear in Buy What Pro, which ones we want on, which ones we want off. It's completely up to you. It's just further personalization of your Buy What Pro to tailor it to your liking basically. Below this, you have your score, um, adjust a setting. So it's basically your criteria for a deal. So here you can enter in your minimum profit, minimum ROI and BSR percentage parameters based on what it is you actually want from a deal. And this will affect by what pros confidence score. You'll have room to enter in things like integrations and so forth at the bottom if you have Profit Protect Pro or Sellability. Um, otherwise, if you do change anything in your settings, please make sure that you are pressing save and sync so that way Buy What Pro can refresh and take those changes into account as and when you've changed anything. So please remember to do that every single time you do make any changes. Now, that is the extension set up. So from here, you are basically ready to go with your analysis. Of course, please feel free to refer to all of the other videos on YouTube. There are some training video playlists as well on the Buy What Pro YouTube channel. So if you want to understand a bit more about how each bit works in BuyBot Pro, uh, please refer to those other videos. So in regards to setup, that's basically it. The one other thing I will say is that for hazmat eligibility and dangerous goods, this is the only bit of BuyBot Pro you need to link up to your Seller Central account. The entirety of BuyBot Pro, besides those aspects, work separate from your Amazon Seller Central account. That's the only bit that takes info from your SC account. So if you want to see these aspects, and I heavily advise that you do link this section up to your Amazon Seller Central, because um, things like eligibility and so forth are really important to your analysis, please just tap the login buttons and log in to your Amazon Seller Central account, refresh the page with your Amazon Seller Central open, and then the indicators will pop up in this field. So now the BuyBot Pro extension is set up. You can also access BuyBot Pro via the web view, which is basically a website version of BuyBot Pro. There's multiple things that you can do from within here, such as, uh, for example, enter in an ASIN here and have the full analysis on a web page. You can view your scan history. You can view charts as well on a bigger scale. You can add and manage your virtual assistants in the VA toolbox. You can upload wholesale sheets um, to analyze in bulk. So that is the web view. You may be interested to know that BuyBot Pro has got a function called the manual sourcing accelerator, which basically allows you to source and analyze at the same time. So if we highlight this title right here, because obviously we've got the BuyBot Pro extension, we just tap that option when we right click and it will look up this item and similar on Amazon. So we can actually analyze on this very same page without having to go anywhere. So that is the manual sourcing accelerator. Certain preferences within your BuyBot Pro settings, such as the Quick Look, will enable things like this. So if you look up anything on Amazon and you have the Quick Look enabled, you'll have some basic um, information about each item via the search. And this is really useful for if you're trying to do things like reverse sourcing. To have BuyBot Pro on your phone or tablet, all you need to do is go to your app store, whether that be 
Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. Search and you are searching for BuyBot Go. So BuyBot Go is the free retail arbitrage app that comes as part of your BuyBot Pro subscription. And that is how you set up your BuyBot Pro account. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you soon.